Oh, hey out there, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? Sorry, I just kind of got up from a coma or, you know, a nap, as normal people call it. And I thought, well, I need to film a video about something. And no, no, it wasn't about my experience with a nap or the dream or any of that kind of fun stuff. Um... I know I've released some different videos recently, okay? And a huge trend in them is how I'm processing my anger better. So I think I'm really going to call this video, like, Gain Control of Your Anger, all right? I am by no means an expert. I am no means anything medically trained. I mean, <laughs> it's taken me almost 50 years on God's little marble here for me to be able to handle things a heck of a lot better, and that's because of the help of a very, very good friend. And no, not going to mention anyone's name, Prack. Really, not going to mention anyone's name, Beard Practitioner. You're like a virus. You get in there, you put good thoughts in people's heads, and you just can't get rid of you. Now you know why we call him Darth Prack. And guys, if you think that was a serious thing, no. It's just a little bit of fun at Prack's expense. <laughs> But, you know, I, I figured let's start this and take a look at the definition of the word anger. You know, and they call it a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. Okay, we, we all deal with anger on a daily basis. We all do. Whether it's, oh my god, I bounced the check, Starbucks is running whatever, seriously, I gotta put on a mask to go in the store, oh wow, this video game isn't going well, trust me. The cuteness factor has picked up my hostility with video games. Sometimes it's cute watching her yell and scream at a computer, and other times I'm really worried about what have I shown her, what have I taught her, what have I instilled in her. But after I had an incident a while ago where I just basically lost my mind over a weekend, I decided to make some changes. And thankfully, and we're going to talk about this in one of these little six steps that I've been doing and it's going to really, really make sense. Thankfully, I talked to somebody and they helped. Okay. But I figured I'd share this with you guys because this seems to work for me and you never know if it works for me, it may work for you. You know, when, when I'm getting angry, one of the first things I do is try to think, you know, think about why is this making me pissed off? Why am I anger? Is it justified? Is it not? Am I flying off the handle? Because, well, I've got Irish and German blood running through me, so talk about a fiery, passionate people who's really, really quick to anger, really quick to fights, and really quick to start wars. You know, I, I made this joke growing up. I was genetically bred to be an alcoholic who wants to take over the world. So you go process that. But I've had to think, and I've had to engage this a lot more and try to figure out why am I getting upset. So that, that was just the first thing I've been doing. Number two is, um, I call it like take a pause. Every so often when I'm getting really lit about something, I have to step back. I have to step back and it goes hand in hand with number one, all right? And before I try to react, I just pause and I give it a moment and I go, is it really worth it? Is it really worth this time? Is it really worth it? Okay, so the camera took a dump, and, you know, for those of you watching my videos, it's pretty nothing new, which is funny. I'm doing a video about how I'm trying to control my anger better, and the camera tries to piss me off. But still, like I was saying, I just, I, I take that pause and try to figure out, is it worth saying those words that you may say, or, you know, that drink you may have, or that fist you may throw, or that relationship you may end? Is it worth it? You know, so try to put number one and number two together, which is think, and just take a pause. Seriously, just take a pause and get yourself under control. Number three, I've, I've learned how to stop holding grudges. Because, well, let, let, let's get honest, all right? I'm going to use my brother Joe Bearded Life as an example in this video. So if I'm pissed off at him, he's going to be like, so? You know, it doesn't affect my life, I don't care. That's just going to make me more enraged and more just, you know, how can you not see this? What is going on? You know, and it just intensifies the anger and it intensifies the hatred and it intensifies the stuff. Let's get honest. If you're pissed off at someone, the only one who's really, really affected is you. You control that. You give that person that ability to have that power over you. You give up that part of yourself. You know, I saw a podcast by uh, Jocko Wilnick. 
great, you know, great Navy SEAL, great motivator, just amazing dude, okay? And he put in there that he has weakness, excuse me, he has losing, losing control of his anger as a sign of weakness. And I'm like, well, I can kind of see that because I'm giving you that ability to control me. I am giving up control of myself and I'm giving it to you. So that's kind of important with number threes, you know, I just learned how to stop holding grudges. The fourth thing I had to do, well, four, <laughs> I've had to do, is seriously just learn how to be calm and learn how to relax. I never realized how golden that time is for me, like first thing in the morning. I'm up usually three to four hours before anybody in my family. I get up, I get things going, I get the day started, I try to figure out what's going on, what do we need to do. But it's important to have that time to center yourself and just let things out and let it go. You know, it's weird how I can play a game of PlayStation 4, yeah, PlayStation 4's MLB The Show, or The Amazing Spider-Man, or when I was doing a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, just go in and start killing people. And you lose your mind, you focus on other stuff, and you just let things out and let it go. You know, because when you're angry, you're just, you don't sleep well, you don't eat well, you make really, really bad choices. You know, um, when I was pissed off a lot, I drank a lot, and it caused a lot of problems. You know, and I would always, man, F that guy, shot. What does he think he's doing? Shot. I can't believe this shot. Instead of just letting it go and being calm and just relaxing. And no prac, I'm not talking about meditating in the corner going, oh, couldn't resist, brother. I just couldn't resist that one. But just find something to help calm you down. Even if you just got to count to 20 in your head. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe step back and have a moment flashing through your head of something you really, truly enjoy. You know, I can remember when I had a lot of blood pressure issues and I was at the VA and they're taking, you know, my blood pressure. They started at, you know, because the nurses there all the time, they started asking me about, you know, the cuteness factor. And it was amazing how that just dropped my blood pressure and how that helped calm me and how that helped center me is the one thing that's probably going to kill me, you know, my daughter. But, you know, that's what I call just number four, be calm and learn how to relax. Number five was really, really huge and hard for me to do. Man, guys, don't be afraid to ask for help. It's really humbling when you know you have a problem and you know you can't fix it and you got to go to somebody else and go, help me, please. Because we're guys. You're bred to be, you know, the alpha male, the provider, the guy who goes out and kills the Tyrannosaurus. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> you know, and do all that fine stuff. It's your job to protect your family. Do this and do that. Do it. But when you can't, that anger builds. You know, you get frustrated. Why is somebody else the breadwinner? Why is somebody else doing this for my family? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? I didn't agree with everything Prak sent me because I am really not into Buddhism and Prak is heavily in there, but I was able to take some of the lessons he sent and I was able to focus them in different aspects of my life, you know, and it's just really amazing to have someone message you every so often and go, hey, I'm proud of what you just did. Hey, that video was awesome. Oh my God, it had to be hard for you to do this. And it's like, well, let's get a little easier, you know, just like this one. I got up from a nap and I went, wow, I need to talk about this and how I've been letting things go because since I've been doing stuff with Prack, my life's getting a little bit easier. You know, I'm not tripping myself up. I'm not putting anything in my way. I'm not stumbling all over myself like I used to and finding any excuse to be mad. But guys, it's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. It's actually a, sh a sign of strength to go, I can't do this. I need assistance. Everybody needs a hand up, you know? It's not a handout, it's a hand up. And you know, I've said this repeatedly, one of the huge aspects of my family is we try to give back whatever possible. Because when we first relocated to Skagit Valley, lots of people had to help us because we had nothing. You know, and we're at a point now where we're better than we've ever been in a family, like financial wise, stability wise, everything. We're actually at our best point ever. And it's taken a lot of work, but it wouldn't have got to this point if people hadn't helped us down here. So that's number five. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And the last thing that I've done is try to find solutions. You know, I, 
I know it sounds like all oh, this is like coming from an AA handbook or something like that, but it's not. It's I'm trying to find some better solutions to a problem, you know? Okay, so this person made you upset. Did you tell that person? Did you vocalize excuse me, vocalize it out? And if that person's like, eh, who cares? Why am I gonna talk to you? I don't care. Let it go. Cause there's nothing and why is my phone going berserk? Okay. Sorry. There's nothing you can do to control that, you know? Find a better solution to what you're doing, because if you're getting pissed off at what you're doing, and you're getting angry about what you're doing, obviously, it's not the right thing. Life isn't supposed to be all rainbows and unicorns and bunny rabbits hopping around, but it doesn't have to be all fires and pitchforks and, you know, town people burning down your castle, either. You got your ups and you got your downs, but it's how you deal with the downs that really determines what's going to go on with the ups. If you rant and rave when you're down, I mean, you're just, you're going to push people away. You're going to knock people away from you. You're going to have people go, man, don't talk to him because he's just a dick. I've been there. Seriously, I've been there. I had to do some humbling things and apologize to people. I had to accept some other people's apologies as well. And it's just, wow, you know? But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if any of those can help you. Those are the things that have been really, really helping me. So like I said, just think... Take a pause before you get really upset. Try to figure out why. Stop holding grudges because it's only going to kill you. Be calm. Learn how to relax. Big one is don't be afraid to ask for help and find better solutions. I don't know if any of that helped you guys, but what I would really, really like, all right, and we're going to get to the usual here in a second. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, you know, the usual stuff we do down below. I want to know what you guys do to help control your anger and get that under control. Because those six little things and, you know, practice just pushing at the right point at the right time really helped. It really helped me a lot. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Oh, my God, I'm far from it. But it's better than it was three months ago. You know, and it's getting better daily. So, like I said, leave a comment down below, okay? What you do. And, I mean, I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of, you know, smart butt comments like, oh, I get drunk and just let it go. Or, you know, oh, hey, Mary Jane's a wonderful thing. You know, whatever. Just leave your comments down below. Let's try to be creative. Let's try to be constructive. Let's try to help other people out, you know, because beard practitioner helped me. So you never know. These may help somebody else. Okay. Well, that fun stuff being said, man, if you first time beers of the channel, you picked a weird one today. You really did. All right. Maybe it's something different that we're going to bring to the channel more. I don't know. No, I'm not tur <coughs> turning into a self-help channel or, you know, um, a motivating kind of thing. But I always try to be true with what's going on in my life and, you know, all that fun stuff. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why? Why don't you let me know what I can do to earn your subscription right down below in the comment section. Seriously. And after you've done all that fun stuff, take a look right there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've knocked that out the way, if you so choose, please go ahead and destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up right over here somewhere. Those are going to be videos that YouTube's going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. I, like I said, I think I'm going to call this one Gain Control of Your Anger. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, like I say in every single one, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I hope y'all are being safe out there.